plaintiff, Jasmine Taylor, became friends with the defendant in high school, and she claims the defendant always tried to be just like her. Jasmine also says she and the defendant were roommates, but the defendant moved out without notice. So she's suing for rent, a late fee, and a cleaning fee. Defendant Kiana McCurdy says she never tried to be like Jasmine. And she insists while living together, Jasmine changed after Kiana got a boyfriend. Kiana insists Jasmine forced her out of the apartment and she's countersuing for defamation of character. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Well, the defendant, Keon McCurdy, I've known her for like, since high school. We was friends in high school, I thought we was, but in all nationality, she's really like my biggest fan. So everything I do, she wants to do. Like, for example, like, I got my Impala, this girl, a couple years What's that? after that, I got my Impala. She got the same Impala as me. Every job I had, this girl wants to copy me. So I guess like, you know, the friends that she type, the type of friends she likes, she liked the friends that, you know, she looked better than them, but that's not me. Maybe you were a role model uh, for her. I, I think so. That, well, that's exactly that's what it is. I am, her, I am her role model. I definitely that's am her role model. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, but. All right, you act like it wasn't. I have tens of thousands of people who yeah. want to be judges, young people who yeah. say, I want to be like you, judge, and yeah. they do exactly the things right. that they've read or heard that I've done. Right, it's nothing wrong happy. with wanting to be I'm like me. I'm so glad that 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 is happening. Right. You act like you're not oh, it's very happy wrong. that it happened. No, it's not oh, the you're wrong. Re- you're mentioning this in the good context. Yeah, in the good kind. Yeah, All in the right, good, good kind of way. She, she says you're a like very me. good woman and she is a role model Thank for you. you. Uh, is yes, she, I, I is definitely Is she a am. role model for you? A good role model? I mean, I wouldn't say she's a role model. A role model of what? There's someone I mean, stuff you that I do, be you want to be like. I'm talk, man, be quiet. You're not a role model today to anybody. Uh, interfering <laughs> and being rude and disrespectful. Now, you didn't find anything in her character that you copied to lead you to success? We, we did go to school together. We mm-hmm. did have the same car, coincidence. She didn't have the same car I had when I had my Impala. You're like, right, that's a lie. Her and Paula got totaled. No, it one. did not. That, she had a Jeep. Speak she facts. totaled her Jeep. Yeah, totaled my she Jeep. Went so and told her. quiet? Go ahead. She's a fraud. She totaled her Jeep. I she, believe you now. She jumped, out, <laughs> she jumped out her car. She went home and played like it never happened. She couldn't get another car. I helped her get an auto loan. Is that true? Your Honor, she's a liar. Okay, she never helped you with a car. Your Honor, she didn't help me with a car at all. She didn't help me with anything. She didn't put a down payment on my car. She She didn't get approved for an auto loan because she don't have a credit. No. That's why. I had did not get approved for an auto loan because she didn't have a credit. She said she did. That's I clearly did. I have a car. I have an affinity better than What are you suing her for? Tell me what happened. Well, I'm suing for $570 because she left without telling me. Left what? She left, like she moved out without telling me. She just up and left. When did she move in? She moved in in February. Of what year? February 20th, February 18th. Of 2017? 2017, yes. She said, I'm hitting the road, road model, road model. She said, she hitting the road, road model. And how much was the rent? 600. Okay. And she stayed there until when? Till September 10th. And she owed how much when she left? She gave me half, so she owes me five seventy for the late fee, which is fifty dollars. So she owes me three hundred plus the late fee, fifty dollars, and the cleaning fees, which came up to two twenty. And she never told you she was leaving. Never told me she was leaving. She actually told me that she was going to pay me my rent in the text messages. Okay. And when she left, did you try and contact her? I sure did. And what did she say? She. Uh, ignored me and then she had on social media and we got to going back and forth. I'll get to that in a minute, but I'm trying to hear about this rent. All right, let's hear about from you on the rent and the late fee and the cleaning fee she says you owe because she says you abandoned um, your agreement. As soon as I got a boyfriend, she just like started changing. She started moving my stuff around, like pushing, basically pushing me out. She sent me a text and was like, if you're going to leave, you might as well leave now. So at the end of the week, I did leave. Why did she tell you that? 
because we had another tenant that lived there and he moved out. She was upset because I didn't tell mm -hmm. her. I did know, but that's not my, that wasn't between me and her and him. That was between her and him. So she asked you to. She was upset that I did not tell her. Right, but did you tell her you wanted to move out? Because I never, statement? I told her in the- right, Let's see what you're referring to. I told her in the text that I never said that I was moving out. I never told did her I was moving out. Did you ever suggest you wanted to? No, I never did. Yeah, I told you her- you sent me the screenshot of the money I sent you for the rent in March. You should have. And if you plan on doing the same thing Anthony did, what did Anthony do? Anthony moved out and he didn't tell her. He moved well, out- Well, that's what second. she's talking about. Exactly, exactly, but I'm saying she- What are you she, saying exactly? You act like she was talking about telling you to move out. Move out if you want to. No, she's saying is. don't do me like Anthony did me and move out on me early. You know exactly what she was saying. All right, and uh, as a result, you moved out when? September 10th. Why don't you think you should pay September's rent for those 10 days? I did, I paid her $300, which was half of the month. All right, is that true? Yeah, she gave me half. Okay, and you say she should owe the entire month because she left without you allowing her out of the correct. lease? Correct, yeah, exactly. Or out of the agreement? Out of the lease, correct. All right, and did you all discuss that afterwards? She That she would pay the other half? No, she was ignoring me, nope. She okay, did. I thought you said you had some type of text you wanted to provide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it discuss the other half? Yeah, I said you... Well, you I, just said she was ignoring you. Let me see it. Yeah, she, she didn't respond. She didn't respond. I said you only gave me oh, three... Oh, so she, yeah. she didn't respond. Yeah, she didn't respond, so she got on, No, I, she didn't respond. I'm talking. She, she's cutting me off. I can cut you off. The That's trash room... Okay. No, you can't. You better be quiet. That's what you can do. And I don't want to hear this internet mess. All right. We're not talking kids play. We're talking about residents today who right. lives where, not who says something about me on the Internet. So she owed me a thousand dollars for what she said. Y'all don't even want to talk about the rent. You all want to talk about what you said to each other on Facebook. <laughs> and then if you if you read those text messages, she says that she's going to pay me. And then she says, there that you go. That's why I want to see. You only gave me three hundred. Where's the rest? You left all this food and trash in here. And show me you, where she says she's going to pay you. That's okay. what read that or show me. It's her fault. Or, OK. Uh, here. This is an easy case. If you show me that you're yeah. trying to get to that Internet you so quick. Okay, you rent right here. And okay, then, OK, OK. All right, that works. Right there. All right, ma'am. And uh, you move September 10th. Got it. What is your defamation claim for? What has she done to you? She was basically, again, online. Before I could even reach out to her and tell her that I would clean the trash out out of the refrigerator, she sent me a video saying, you left all this trash in here, but it was only food in the refrigerator. Now she's suing me for bedroom, kitchen. Why didn't you send me all of those videos of that? If it was all of that, she would have sent me the whole video, which was only I, a video of food. And that's I why that you're video. suing her because she didn't send you enough no, information not, on suing, the video. I'm suing her. Right, that's what I'm asking. You I'm are. suing her because she was calling me. I was dirty. I'm broke. I'm a bum. Like I never paid my rent. I've never not paid her rent. And I paid her three hundred. Yes, you have. You didn't pay her this other half Why would of the I month. Pay her you for didn't the... pay her the complete month. And by the way, on here, do you plan on paying your rent? Your answer: Yes. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. Hers is granted. Yeah, Plankton. Plankton. Cute Sting, I hope you get your update and new braids. Oh, thank you, Sting. Shut up. You're welcome, You're just mad. You're mad. Cute you you want to be like me. You, you want oh, my car? Sting, yes, you do. I own my you house, boo boo. You wish you were the room from him? Wish you live with him and his mother, boo? No, boo. Yes, I you do. You my own. Own. Thank you for Did you forget? How many places you have you had? But how many places have you had? No, no, Sting, I own my house. Plaintiff Latuan Hall says the defendant is his stepdaughter, and he's been in her life since she was nine years old. Latuan tried to be a good father figure to the defendant and bring her up in a good home. But he's suing her because he rented her an apartment in his name and she failed to pay rent. Defendant Andrea Ruffin admits that Latuan was a good father figure, but insists she didn't need another male role model because her father was in her life despite him being incarcerated. Andrea denies owing Latuan because she paid the rent on time every month. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding.
You may now be seated. Start with you. Uh, I've been knowing Andrea since she was one years old. I've been a father figure in her life. Her father has been paying attention for 20 years of her life. Her uh, father, you say? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to teach uh, Andrea some responsibility. Uh, I know everybody's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Seven years ago, I called a DUI. Did six months in the penitentiary, came home. Was that, that your, that must have been your second or third? But did y'all do, no, that was my first one. You must have had an accident. No. I had, um. You, had, was, you were already on probation for something. Yeah, I was on probation at the time. Okay. They don't give yeah, you six months DUI. for a first DUI. Right. All right. A second or third or yeah. what have you. Go ahead. And so, um, I did my time, got out, um, got a job. Worked a job seven Good. years up to today. Good. So um, just want to teach my daughter some responsibility. She's a good girl. Brung up good, good home. So that's basically it. Who are you guys from? Oh, here? Chicago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what school did she go to? She could tell me this, but since you're talking about her upbringing, I'll ask you. What school, what high school did she go to? She went to um, Calumet. Calumet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. High school. How about uh, grades? Grades were good, smart, intelligent. She go beyond high school? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Let me hear from you, young lady. Give me some background. Um, I've been on Latuan since one. Um, like, he's been a good father figure, even though I didn't need him to, because I had my dad, even though he was incarcerated. Um, he pretty much, I feel like he, tolerate me because how long was your dad incarcerated for 20 years for 20 years but even with him being incarcerated I was he kept paid the bill oh okay him, you he know. paid your bills even while incarcerated yeah he made i paid for my prom dress he he made things happen you know oh, like okay. i said he what did he go to jail for uh for murder I think he uh, took the rap for okay. one of his friends, you know. I'm just curious where you're getting money to buy prom dresses while he's locked up. Yeah, but he had his form family to support. So my dad's side of the family did support okay. a lot. Um, oh, they well. did? Your dad's side gave yeah. child support? Yeah, well, my mom didn't put him on child support, but you know. You don't gotta put him on it, I'm saying. He has an obligation whether you put it on it or not. So did he meet his obligation? Yes. Okay, yes. how did he get money to pay your child support? Well, I guess his family, like I said, his family. You guess, you would know where the money's coming from. Yeah, his family, his mom, his sister. Gave sisters, it to who? His, my mom. Okay, yeah. and you know of that to be the case? No. Yeah, doesn't sound true. Go ahead, tell my her daddy took, but did his best as you. He was locked up, this your daddy. He didn't do nothing, go ahead. Tell me what your daddy did. Go ahead, what else you want me to uh, know? I'm a single mother of three children. Oh, good. Um, I have a clothing line, so okay, I'm very responsible. Right, he living under his roof, that's what happened. You're well, right, congratulations, him, you're a good dad. Got a, him, him got a line, mom, go ahead. Him, my mom, like I said, I feel like he tolerated me because he was with my mom, mm -hmm. some half of the time, you know, sometime. But my mom, she helped a lot with that, mm -hmm. bringing me up, um, like I said. I'm a very responsible young lady. Okay. Uh, I have a lot going for myself. And even, Sounds like it. Even with, uh, you know, him helping me out with the apartment. Oh, your know. father? Your father in prison? No, my stepfather. My stepfather. You say you didn't need him. Yeah, no. You say you had a he, daddy. He offered. You say he, you didn't like need him. You say you had it. Your other daddy didn't offer. <laughs> I know he didn't. Go ahead. Come on, what this man ain't done for you. <laughs> Go ahead. So he, he helped you get an apartment. Yeah, he helped me get the apartment. But your family pay, right? No, I paid. I'm 27. Yeah, why did you need him then? Because with Why do you say no? I'm 27. <laughs> why do you say I'm 27 when he offered? With, with Pangea, you can only apply. Pardon me? I said with Pangea, you can only apply so so many times. And previous months, I had applied for them. Uh-huh, and they turned so, you down. Right, because I, I right, already Right, and it wasn't until he came and they got the acceptance. Right, yeah, he offered. All right, so you did need him. <laughs> Go ahead. He offered. Go ahead. What? <laughs> yeah, but you needed him. You keep talking about you didn't need him. You did. You've needed him every step of your life. As of now, you couldn't even get an apartment without him. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. What you suing her about? 
um, the apartment I put on my name for. <laughs> the same apartment. <laughs> Why? She not paying? Um, she moved out. Um, so I went to go look for an apartment for myself. It was um, February 7, 2017, 18, uh, February. I got her apartment in my name. And, oh, um, sorry. It was June. Okay, June. Well, I have mm -hmm. paperwork, but anyway. Um, I got the apartment. She lived there for a year. She moved out. I went to go look for me an apartment through the same realtor. I would put the apartment in my name for her. Um, I'm bragging, yeah, I know I get approved. Cause my daughter's been paying the rent on time. Mm. So all the time I looked <laughs> stupid when they told me I would uh, pay, do a balance. So 141 for May and the whole rent for uh, June 863. So that's what I'm showing her for. It came out to a thousand four dollars. She told me she was gonna um, pay me. I had that in my text messages. This is from her failure to pay the apartment. Yes. That you got for. Her. Yeah. She told her me. Daddy didn't help. No, uh, I did. Her family that. didn't help. No. Did you keep talking about her daddy's family and his her daddy all that, but uh, she got put out without you. No, I didn't get put out. What happened? I um. So I did pay, like mm -hmm. he was show you or, you mm -hmm. know, I know, him, but mm -hmm. I pay every month on time. Um, the apartment was in his name. So whatever it came like down to it, like if I need a pest control or just anything, mm -hmm. they would contact him first mm -hmm. before anything. Mm -hmm. I went to find another apartment for a private, uh, with a private landlord. I was waiting for them to do the uh, credit check and the background check and stuff like that. They're older people, so it took them some time. Um, I was moving out before July 1st. So once I was moving out, I did pay the pay Pangea. They have um, this payment through Walmart. It's called WHIPS. I paid them. So when I uh, got approved for my apartment, I moved out a few days before July 1st. Um, did you I have a lease? Yes. And when did the lease expire? Um, it was over in July. Okay. So June, I paid, you know. Moved in They July. said it was a late fee for May, but mm -hmm. it was not brought to me because I would have paid that, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to turn the keys in to the realtor before July 1st because I didn't want to get charged. And the, um, the building owner told me that as well. So um, I was in the hospital because the day I was moving, I ended up passing out because I have low potassium and high blood pressure. So I was in the hospital for two days. Once I got out the hospital, um, I contacted the building manager saying that I was going to um, bring him the keys. He told me, OK, bring them before this and this day. So you won't get charged for another you know, month or so, mm -hmm. which was July. So I did that. They give you paperwork um, when you take the keys back and stuff like that. Now, mind you, on this paperwork, it was no balances or anything. But they told my dad that I didn't pay the month uh -huh. of June. And you did? I did. All right. You I did have that? No, I went to all my stuff. It's been almost a year. Uh-huh. I done moved and threw out, you uh -huh. know, so I did look for the paperwork. I did tell him that you said as you well. sent it through Walmart. Right, I called Walmart. All right. So they give me a mm -hmm. they give me a reference number um when you first move in. Mm -hmm. And if you could pay through the currency exchange or through Walmart. Mm -hmm. But I was choosing to go to Walmart because mm -hmm. it was right by the house. And then I made a When did he first ask you about it? Um, in February. When he was trying to get his apartment this past February. And you moved in June. Right. All right. And you were supposed to uh, uh, do a walkthrough through the apartment. Did they ask you about that? Through the, the apartment landlord? she had? Yes. No, they didn't ask me that. I, I let her deal with all the, um, the business with the apartment at the time. I gave them her, her information so they can get in contact with her instead okay. of getting in contact with had me. Had you ever had any contacts with the landlord? The building manager? Yes. The building manager, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what type, for example? Well, I'm um, like anytime I needed, you know, help with the apartment or something, mm -hmm. like. Uh, you would call them and they and you right, would talk to them. Right. And they would talk to you. Right, because I remember been you told to me they wouldn't. Remember you told me they could only call him when you needed pest said, control. You said they wouldn't talk to you, they would only talk to him. Until what else you want me to know? Until he gave me access. What else you want me to know? Until, I got you. 
Let's move on. What else you want to tell me? That's it. You want to like tell I, me the Walmart game? You want to get that game to me too? No. We're okay. Walmart. Right. It's <laughs> how much Walmart. you sent the money we're through Walmart. Walmart. Game. For me, that oh. game that you sent the money through Walmart. I did. And he just didn't get I did. it. Well, let me but tell you. But if they owe, you had the responsibility to get it to them. You're being sued because it was your responsibility to get the money in. Walmart well, I, didn't live there. Maybe they did. Did you let uh, one of the Waltons <laughs> live there? Well, it's, it's Maybe not Walton my, came to town it's needed not a my place sister. to stay. That month they needed See, you. It's not, it's not my sister. They said, let me, we need to go and meet with uh, Andrea. We need to stay with her. <laughs> We'll See, pay you, Andrea. Was, I thought it was crazy, too. And they never too. paid you. <laughs> I that thought it Walmart. was crazy. <laughs> doing that to a nice young lady like you. <laughs> See, now that's something Pangea got going on. See, because I don't think that's right. Because even when I called them, I'm like, yeah, y'all ain't got no receipts. No, no. once the payment is through, it's through. I'm like, what? So, yeah. it's like. <laughs> no. I'm Boy. like, you know, it's crazy. I know. You know. <laughs> and I told him I paid. He know I paid. Hey. You know, he I know, know I paid. paid. I don't know that. He know I paid. Yeah, no man. Receipt. I ain't seen no receipt. He know I paid. <laughs> you have everything else you want to say. <laughs> no. Tell the, tell the young lady you're proud of her nevertheless. Because <laughs> you but, are. Well, Yana, um, it pays down to my text messages. It stays. She stated in there that she was gonna pay me. <laughs> what, what page? Um, page nine. Yes, page nine. She stated in there that she was gonna pay me, make payment, three payments, and I never did receive any. Dear Mr. Walton, <laughs> it was a pleasure having you and your family here. She always doesn't say that. <laughs> Thank you for t re giving me the money back that I sent to Walmart. <laughs> You're a precious family and I hope God continues to bless y'all. <laughs> In the meantime, I can't pay this month's rent so I won't be living here next time you come to town. <laughs> but I will let you know where I'm at so you can come and stay. <laughs> You're a nice young lady. See? <laughs> Right. Right. <laughs> so look, let me tell you, page four. I told him. I'll make three payments out to you, money orders only, starting next week. Whatever you do with the money is not on me as long as I pay. Yes, because he did me a favor. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not an inconsiderate person. You know what I'm saying? Even I told him, I well, said, I I, you it. change your mind, though. That's all. No, what I'm out of work. Okay. Since COVID-19, I'm out of work. She got her own clothing line. Huh? Yeah, she I got a clothing line, line but- You, are, you are straight. No, if I don't. If you're not straight, you go to the uh, Stimulus Act, which provides loans and forgivable loans, to, in some cases, to small business persons. If you have, if you had a job and you no longer work there, you get your unemployment. Mm -mm. See, I just filed for unemployment and they ain't got back to me yet. Okay. He know I'm not no bogus person. You know, whether yes, you are. right you coming to you right are today. Wrong, you are today. To, I was trying I know he needed a roof over his head, so you know. Now he's irresponsible. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you, young lady. You are a nice young lady. I'm having fun with you, but don't do folks wrong like that. Somebody who is meant so much to you in your life and show ungratefulness. That wasn't nice what you led off saying. You're right to stay in touch with your dad, your blood dad. I'm glad you do that. But he fathered you. Yes, that's your daddy, but he fathered you, meaning he gave you the things that you needed as a from a man to succeed in life. Of this provide plaintiff Scott Riegel says soon after meeting the defendant, he discovered she was a stripper. Scott was living in his van, but claims the defendant agreed to let him live in her driveway in exchange for driving her to work. But he's suing her today for unpaid tolls and personal property. Defendant Stephanie Geyer says she allowed Scott to stay in her driveway because he was homeless and she felt sorry for him. But Scott turned out to be a dirty old man who rarely showered. Stephanie's countersuing Scott for unpaid rent. Start with you. Your Honor, no offense to this young lady over here, but she is a stripper. 
She looked like a church lady today. Yeah. <laughs> I go to church. Go ahead. I go to church every Sunday. You do go to church because, every Sunday? Yeah. I knew I hit it right on the head. I've yeah. never seen her go to church. Well, yeah, oh, she said, I guessed it, and I'm usually right. <laughs> go ahead. I'm right today. A woman looked like a church lady. Say she goes every Sunday to church. She's a church lady. Do you stay for the second uh, offering or you slip out before the second offering? <laughs> I usually stay for the whole session. All right. Do you have two offerings? I don't believe so. No. I need that church. Yeah. No. <laughs> church I know too, they got two off. No, it's just Me one. Too. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. And then at the end, some of them at the end, I went to one church, it was the third offering at the end. <laughs> and they actually locked us, swear on everything. But it had the deacons block the, uh, the exit because this, he said, I don't want you to desecrate this service by leaving it without uh, giving to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Deacons, stop the sinners from leaving <laughs> and shake them down. <laughs> All right. So I appreciate you being here. I always Thank appreciate you. a nice church lady who shares faith. Why are y'all laughing? I'm a man of faith. Go ahead. So, uh, Your Honor. When, when I met this lady, she told me all kinds of stories of why she wasn't working locally. Where do you all know each other from? She lived next to my best buddy. We were trying to help each other out. Uh, she did not have a vehicle. Uh, she was kicked out of a lot of the clubs that were local. I don't understand what you mean. The, the, the clubs, the strip clubs? She was a... A she exotic is. dancer. She is still living. Okay, she's still dancer. one. We need more exotic dancers in church. We do because <laughs> because sometimes they sin. Not all not all the exotic dancers are sinners, but some of them are. I go to church a lot. I sin, and folks want to know why the judge always saying, "What is he doing wrong? Does he steal? Does he do that?" One of the things I got a potty mouth. I curse like a dog. <laughs> folks don't know that about me. That's a shame. I just curse, curse, curse. So all of us need a little church. We all doing a little Amen. something wrong. You know, I lie. Every now and then, too, if you put me in the corner. So <laughs> go ahead, sir. All right. uh, you all knew each other and you were taking her to the clubs because she had gotten put out of all the local ones. All the local Why? ones with it. Well, it was for the thieving and the smoking of marijuana on the job. And uh, actually stealing. Who? She no, gather no, no, up the, the other people's guys money. Come to see her. Uh, she'd be giving them a lap dance and she would take their necklace right off their neck. Okay. Awesome. Yes, Your Honor. That's she a lie. showed me many times. Showed you what? Coming out with the chain going, how much do you think this is? Let me allow her to give some background before we get to the personal property and the unpaid tolls that um, you're suing her for. Tell me First about of your all, association with him. First of all, he is a dirty old man, all right? This guy doesn't shower. He oh. doesn't use the bathroom in the house. He uses the bathroom in the car, Okay. This is why he was the fired. the bathroom in whose car? His car that I let him live in in my driveway because I felt bad for him as you a him, woman I am. He was homeless? Yes, he was homeless. And his yes, daughter- Yes, I was, Your Honor. You look like an accountant. I, I had my operation uh, to relieve my pain and I was able to, to get another job. Okay, so you were work. legitimately homeless, obviously. And how long did you stay? How long did he stay he in your driveway? He was at my house for a year. I would cook a for year? him. I gave him one plate of food every night. I was there from September till January. In the driveway? Yeah. Yes, sir. And I got the small. You couldn't find a homeless shelter in a year. Your Honor, it, 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 they weren't letting Go me in. Go ahead, stutter. Stutter until the lie comes out. They wouldn't let me in for a whole mainly. year. That was no. Where do you live? Pasco huh. County, Florida. All right, and, Fort Ritchie. And, and and for an entire year, there was no, there was not a bed for a homeless person. Everyone I applied for, I either had to be on drugs or be a veteran. That's what I kept running into. I would beg you to take a shower. I would beg you to come in the house and use the bathroom in the house. I, I Your Honor, had what? many showers and used the bathroom many different places, i.e. the local. I have proof that he did it from his by my neighbor, and I have proof that um, he I gave him back all the things that he's accusing me of. You got to get past this nastiness first. <laughs> And the, fir and, the, uh, and the first question I have for you, ma'am, he used to take you to work? Yes. yes Every day or how often? No, it was about two days a week. So two days a week, how far was work? An hour. An hour? <laughs> An hour. Hour yeah. there, hour back. The smell was So for two days yes. a week, 
<laughs> for a year. <laughs> it got turn left. Yeah. It, got, it wasn't turn that right. in the beginning. It <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your head out the window. It wasn't that bad out the in window. the beginning. Hold on. Because what? he would come into the house. It wasn't that bad in the beginning. He would come into the house, but he stopped coming into the house. The smell got bad. I would beg him to take a shower and use the bathroom in the house. He would not. And things got so bad where I started smelling when I went to work. And I told him, I, I can't do this no more. I came home and told him he had to get out of my driveway for the safety of my mother and my son. That's a lie. So... You allowed him to stay in your driveway to take you to, in exchange for taking you to work? Uh, that's uh, that, and his daughter lived next door. I'm a mama. I felt really Why bad. How could he live with his daughter? Because he was so nasty, they didn't want him living in their driveway. How oh. much were you paying him to take you? I would give him $50 a night to take me to and from work with the promises that he would pay rent $100 a week. And that's a lie, did. Your Honor. There was never agreement to pay $100 a week. I gave him, rent. I would hook up electricity and I would always cook a warm plate of food. Like, you know, he was part of the family. I felt bad, you know, so I would that's, break bread with him like I would Your everybody Honor, my else. My daughter was making money. And so he food. would come into the house. And I would cook the food Hold for on. his daughter, too. He would come into the house? No, he would not come into the house. I would bless the food together and I would bring him his food because he wouldn't want to be a in the car. Yeah. I mean, my church group lady, Laura, tried to get him to go to church, but she even said the smell of his van was overpowering. They wouldn't even let him in church. Nope. (laughs) That's bad. (laughs) Go ahead. Why are you suing her? Uh, Your Honor, I'm suing her because she agreed to pay for the tolls. For you taking her back and forth to work? Correct. Why'd you have to go an hour away? Did they ban you in all the local clubs? No, I go an hour away because it's more classy an hour away from my work. I mean, where I live. I work an hour away because there are five-star clubs in Tampa. So you've never been put out? No. Go ahead, sir. From September through January 18th, Mm -hmm. the tolls come to a total of $305. She did pay $50 on that. Mm -hmm. And I have those evidences right here. Let's see it, please. Doyle. There's two bills. One's from uh, the toll by plate and the other one's from Hillsborough County. All right. Oh, I love this part part of the country. Not when he's driving around. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) And... So, the personal property, how does she owe you for that? Uh, personal property was things that she would borrow. Coffee pot, uh, my AC unit. She would borrow from you. you. She would borrow stuff from me. Uh, I actually, she removed my re- mini refrigerator out of the van so that I could take her to I go get her new son's back. bed. And that was the day she actually... I got her. So to you work. didn't have a place to live. Correct. She had a place to live, but no refrigerator. You had she, a refrigerator, but no place to live. Correct. It was one hand washes the other. <laughs> <laughs> you have your list of items, sir. Yes, You're I sounding do. more and more ridiculous. <laughs> Ma'am. What do you say about these tolls and his property? I do not owe him any tolls. I was very generous by giving him a job and giving him $50 a night to get me to and from work. My job is only 36 miles away. He got to and from there. He would stay in the back. How much did the tolls call come to in your understanding? A dollar on the way there and a dollar on the way back. So it was $7 there and back every day. Show me, give me a copy of that because all the tolls I've been through in that region is $1. It was $1 per toll booth. So We went through four toll booths to oh, get wow. there in four true? back. No, that's not true. The dates and times. Show me there. four different ones. Sure. Don't have me 20 pages and tell me to figure it out. You want me to do a lot of figuring here. <laughs> and the personal property, ma'am. Personal property I gave back to his best friend, my neighbor, the day that I came home and, you know, told him, you have to leave. And Why didn't you give it to him? Because his best friend, he didn't want to have talked to me. He didn't want nothing to do with me. So I gave him back his property to his best friend. And I got proof of that. All right. Let's see that, please, Doyle. And your $5,000 counterclaim for rent. How does he owe you for that? He was supposed to give me $100 a week. And never gave you a dime? Huh? Never gave you anything? I mean, honestly, I just felt bad. He gave me the promises. So that's $400 a month? Um, Yes. To live in the driveway? Yes. $100 a week. It was, every, it was supposed to be every Sunday. 
and I felt bad giving him the money that I was giving him. I felt bad taking because he didn't, I mean, I'm, I'm a mom. Did you agree to give her $400 a month to Never. sleep in your car? Never. I would have my own driveway? place with that. Right. Well, he says he didn't agree to pay that. And um, in fact, I don't I believe he did either. That, pardon? I'm sorry. You have a text that says I what? have a text that says otherwise. Uh, here is also the two days. I just highlighted just two days. Of tolls? Of tolls. Of locations? Yes, sir. Four different? And the times. Yeah. And he paid to do so. Pardon me? He, he was paid $50. I know, but you said there was only one toll. That's not yeah. the issue now. The issue is whether you were honest or not. You say it was no, one. You just demonstrated it was more than one. I work on, I work on Dull Mayberry Road in Tampa. There's only one toll. But to get there to from get there where and you then live. To get back, there's, a, there's one Where toll do you too. live? In Port Richie? I live in Newport Richie, yeah. Right, and you say there's only one toll yes, between going that. from there to Tampa. Yeah. That was my assumption, but he's reading off. Three I don't know where he tolls. went. That's, uh. This is straight from the state, or, or I'm sorry, from the toll by plate, and it's got the time and the dates of every single toll that I went to. There was three on the way in there on the Veterans Highway. And then once we got off the Veterans Highway and got into Hillsboro, there was another one. You definitely pay one on Veterans Highway there, um, shooting off of 75 toward the airport, right off the airport. I mean, bottom line, I, exactly I mean, I'm not that. driving. He's driving. I gave him money. Oh, for bottom line. Now you don't know. He you come with the so. bottom line all of a sudden. Uh, okay. All I know is I paid him. That means all you know is you don't know. That doesn't and matter. And personal property, I mean, I uh, I'm deal. going to... Uh, Grants you that as well. She returned it to your neighbor instead of returning it to you. She should have returned it to you. 589 is your judgment. Your claim is dismissed. Have Thank a good day. You. Plaintiffs Audrey Pietola and her boyfriend John Roberts rented a room in the defendant's home. And after moving in, they discovered pot plants that the previous tenant left behind. John claims when the defendant tried to dispose of the plants, he took them out of the trash and kept them. So the defendant kicked them out. They're suing for rent, moving expenses, and emotional distress. Defendant Alyssa East says her previous tenant was never supposed to have pot plants in her home. So that's why she tried to dispose of them. Alyssa claims John and Audrey put her tenancy at risk by bringing the plants back into her home. And that's why she had her landlord legally evict them. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you all. Um, we uh, moved in here with Alyssa and her boyfriend. We weren't quite getting along too well, but uh, we were trying to make things work. Um, she decided that she would be our landlord and would not put us on the lease. Um, and what this all really came down to was pot plants. We had about nine pot plants on this property from the previous tenant, not ours, not hers, the tenant who lived there prior to us moving in. Oregon law is you can have three pot plants. They thought they died and went to heaven. That's right. <laughs> Open the door. They had three. <laughs> you could only have three pot plants um, per household. Mm -hmm. um, they were there for over a month. Um, this guy left them behind. He abandoned them. Must um, not have been any good. <laughs> well, he eventually came back for them. And when he came back for them, um, I already come down. It was <laughs> over a month. So like. you'd already smoked it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so I was drying it. I was drying it. And what happened? <laughs> Alyssa got noticed that the guy was coming over to collect. She took down the pot plants I had hanging and drying, and she threw them in the fire pit. So she, she tells really the really wanted to get high. <laughs> <laughs> You throw she a whole thing and then stick her head on. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. She tells the, the previous tenant that our dogs got into him, which wasn't right. He really didn't care that they were gone. Like, he understood that he should not have left them there that long. Um, it, was, it wasn't that upset. But it, she was very upset that we cut these down um, without, you know, 
without no, giving her knowledge, one. Knowledge, I guess. Let me allow I, her. I just didn't want to waste them, you know. They're <laughs> smokable. Let me uh, allow her to. Uh, <laughs> let me allow her to give some background, ma'am. Okay, so. Like you said, we were friends. We've been friends for about almost a year. Um, I got this house and I was trying to help them out. I was like, you know what, why aren't you just come live with me? It's better than living with your parents. Uh, help me out with rent, help you out. So uh, the weed plant thing, uh, regardless of the situation of how he felt about smoking and how long they've been there, it was an extremely against my law, my my rules. Plus you can smell it, couldn't well, you? Well, it's, yeah, uh, my previous tenant was not supposed to have those weed plants mm -hmm. on the property. Regardless if he had left them there for however long they would have been there, mm -hmm. they were for medical patients and they were not theirs to touch. And because they did touch them, regardless of how long they were there, no one told you to put them inside my extra bedroom. I'm super short, so I'm jumping around, trying to get these down, run across, run across the my my living room, run outside to my yard to throw them in, a, and then I lied. I lied to protect them so it wouldn't get us in trouble because my property manager. What'd you lie about? That I told them that our dogs had got into it. Got it. Mm -hmm. I never specified who. I just said we had been gone to the coast and our dogs had got into it when we got back. We were really sorry. Um, I had asked Audrey to come back and apologize with me. She refused. She said I, I had I nothing to do with that. I did apologize to him. She said I had nothing to do with that. I'm not going to apologize to that guy. Then when she shows up, she comes in the backyard and says, hey, man, I'm really sorry. We'll give them back to you in a bag. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'd already lied. So it didn't look it did not look good at all. So the second time around, we don't, I thrown them in the, the burn pile. They'd re-stolen them. They were gone. Like, why? This, this is really bad for my lease. My, my property manager didn't want the plants on there Good at all. Point. We didn't have the rights to remove them because in Oregon, you have to have a certain license for that many plants. You only have to, you're not. What you mean? Yeah, you for that many. To remove them. That's yeah, like we can't wrong. physically remove them from our property unless you have a certain license. Because as, there was nine of them. Even if you're disposing of them, someone that's, else that's left that's them. That's why I put someone them in the burn pile. Someone else left file. them. It's not mine. I don't want them here in my house. So I'm going to take them and dispose of they them. They were in the yard. You. They were in the yard, when, way in the back. Wherever they were, yeah. if you're trying to dispose of it, get rid of it, right? It's illegal. Well, I asked my I asked my property manager to remove them herself because it had nothing to do with me. I don't want to touch them. Got that part. It's a part of yeah. the management's policy. I understand right. that. You just said in Oregon you cannot dispose of them, and now you're concluding that that's not the case because you think the judge might know a little bit about law. Uh, no, that wasn't yeah. it. But you do that have... doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound right, ma'am. Tell me how she owes for rent, moving expenses, and emotional distress. So, Your Honor, um, the rent comes to, we paid $250 in advance for October's month rent. Um, when I got the eviction notice, she, which our names aren't even on, we got the 72-hour eviction notice, I asked for our money back. She told me too bad I should have never given it to her in the first place. Okay. Um, so, that's, that was our $250 claim, and then... The following morning, um, after we got this notice hanging in our door, we go and get a U-Haul just to get our stuff out. You know, we're done. We don't want to fight. We don't want to deal with it. We're out of here. Fortunately, we had nowhere to go. Luckily, Audrey's parents were kind enough to let us come stay with them again. So they were happy to take us back in. But through all of this, you know, we're worried. You know, we didn't have nothing, you know. So that's part of your emotional distress. Part of our emotional distress. So, you know, we are asking for the emotional distress as well as our... Um, Rent refund. A rent and, and the U-Haul bill. And all this is because you believe she illegally uh, evicted you? Well, I found out later that in order for this to be legally binding, one, our name needs to be on it, and two, it would have needed to be presented to us in hand. Let me see that, please. Let me see the document you're referring to. No, eviction notices don't have to be given in hand. That's not true. They can tape them to your door. You, just as long as you receive knowledge that you're being evicted. Uh, rent over the 17, which the possession of herein described premises are unauthorized individuals. You are evicted because you all were considered unauthorized individuals. Correct, Your Honor. So the reason we're, we were considered um, unauthorized individuals mm -hmm. is because we were not on the lease. I have requested, you know, prior to. Did our, you know you weren't? Yes. And you, I was when you moved in, you weren't authorized. Nobody yet. was authorized to move in. Nobody was on the lease. 
but when you knew. Alyssa asked her landlord, who she met at her strip club when she was stripping, <laughs> that that she um, that he he didn't want us on the lease. He said we don't want them on the lease. We don't want to deal with them. I uh, the two hundred fifty dollars I asked for a receipt for. She refused to give us a receipt. The landlord refused to give us a receipt. And no one would give us even a receipt for it. So we started having problems as soon as that happened. Um, and then. See, the problem you have here, sir, is you knew you were moving in it, um, in violation of the uh, owner's policies. There was no owner's policy at the you time. You just said you kept wanting to get on the lease. Correct. And you knew you were unauthorized. That's what we just discussed. Okay. And now you're going to tell me there was no owner's policy. In fact, there is an owner's policy. So the you owner's- just handed it to me. <laughs> Yes, um, at the time, no one was on the lease, and Alyssa told us she needed our information to be on the lease. Sir, she did not uh, evict you. The management evicted you because you were unauthorized, and as you said, you knew you were. Had she misled you and told you, oh yeah, you're authorized, no problem, everything is good, then she will have deceived you and owed you your money back. She did not deceive you by your own admission, and the landlord is who you need to sue, that is who evicted you, sir. She didn't evict you, have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. You're a whore and you should go back to Texas. (laughs) I have nothing to say, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't have anything to say. Plaintiff Landon Now rented a two-bedroom apartment to the defendants. And after they moved in, there was a lot of police activity at the home. Landon claims he evicted the defendants, and he's suing them today for unpaid rent. Defendants Jillian Iokas and Christopher Hunter say Landon is a slumlord meth addict who tried to sell them drugs within the first month they lived there. Christopher claims they withheld their rent because Landon failed to repair the property, and therefore they refused to pay. Start with you. Okay, uh, I, from a current tenant, I was referred to them guys that they didn't have a place to live and they needed a place at the time immediately. I had a two bedroom apartment that was available. Uh, they rented it at the time. I had a couple tenants the first month have complaints that there was police activity. What a was lot your of agreement noise. with them on the amount? Six hundred dollars a month. All right, and you had complaints the first month. Yes, there was noise and there was some, uh, like just a lot of noise and a cop present, police present. Police came. Yes. Did they speak with the defendant? That I'm not sure. Okay. Just the neighbors. I had two neighbors. That's police a lie. come and speak with you? No. Not at all. All right. Go ahead. Then once I was in the, got back into the apartment and I got checked it out the frame was busted on the bedroom door there was other damages done so to my knowledge i would say that it was from arguing fighting domestic debate what do you all want to tell me um no that first of all that's not true this man is a meth addict we heard by multiple people in this same neighborhood that he has been using drugs we thought there was something off with him he was really off spacey jittery talking really fast you know he even also- offered to sell us drugs at within the first point. month. Of um, he also owns a hotel room across from our house where all tenants are either drug addicts or disabled people, people he knows he can take he advantage can of. You know, he's he's out there being a slumlord and he's getting away with it. And we were just the people that- We just didn't stand for it because we, we aren't it, drug users. all over us. So why don't you tell me about their failure to pay rent? Let's get to that. Okay, they were inconsistent from May to August. Okay. And you have a list of the deficits that they failed yes. to pay? Let's have them, please. Okay. Okay. I'll read. And when you mentioned failure to pay to them, what would they tell you all those uh, months? Or? Always would tell me that they were going to pay and they had money coming. They, did, they always give me an excuse. I got text messages, uh, phone calls. All right, let me hear from you all about the payment of rent. He has oh, shown me from is. May of 17 through September of 17, you had deficiencies well we have we definitely have proof and and receipts receipts of everything we paid up until july and the reason why we stopped paying in july start there thank you we paid the full amount up until july when we were like i said he wasn't fixing anything we we tried to get back to you let's start with what she just told me she said the full amount and was the rent five or six hundred six i have one for five hundred I have one for 400 and I have one for 570 and then we do have two paid in full. So, unlike what you told me, I have only two out of the five that were paid in full. So how do you want to explain that? 
Well, you just told me all of it was paid. They, we were, we were paid up until full until July. It yeah. even says in the receipt that Ma'am, he I'm gave. I'm looking. Us. You're the one handed me the receipts. I'm looking. May. You only paid five hundred dollars. June, you only paid four hundred dollars. So when did you start paying full? I'm sure the, the first, first two, two months. months were full. I mean, all right, you told me all were full, didn't you? I'm sorry. I thought that they were. People think they can hand me stuff, and I ain't gonna read it. See, here, Dad, it's all there. It's all there. Look at it. Yeah, I looked at it. Now. Uh, why didn't you pay the rest? The reason why I didn't pay rent, and you know, I work really hard to, I know it's not much money, but to give him money. Um, and it's surprising to hear, well, if we weren't paying him in full, why did we get evicted now? Why would it be, okay, all those other months, but then all of a sudden you want to Because he knew us? what he was doing was wrong and what we were living so in was wrong. So our conditions, living conditions were ridiculous, okay? Um, the living room ceiling, it rained one time. I mean, as soon as we moved in, it was leaking. He there wrote it in the lease. In the ceiling. That he, that was, he was going, going to fix, fix these, these problems prior within the to first moving couple in. months. But then we pay him, and all of a sudden he never would show up. Okay, you have a list of things that you asked yes. to be repaired. But then we called the city inspector in July and asked the inspector to check out this place because we felt like it was untenable. And he was disgusted when he saw it and wrote him up with seven different violations. You have those so copy disgusting. the violations? Yes. So what do you say to this? They said, uh, in part, they failed to pay or they withheld their rent because you failed to make the promised repairs. Untrue. I have all the text messages showing that I've multiple times tried to get a hold of them. to get. What about that rent. message about $45 for weed? What about that message? Yeah, have that because I have that one right drugs. here. Well, let's leave all this drug stuff yeah. alone. I don't know who's on the drug. <laughs> one side is and the other side is talking <laughs> too fast. And I don't know who's on drugs. Now, let's yeah. leave all that alone. Because I know some signs I'm seeing all across the board now. <laughs> so let's just stop that. He's a known method. Okay, addict, sir, so. what do you have? Yeah, I got text messages showing at multiple. Showing what? Show oh, asking, oh. asking them to, to come in there and repair the And fixes. what did they say? They kept on putting me off. Asking if you could come in and make the repair. Yes, That's many what times. you have. Many times. And you have their response. Yes, the response right. and the other. Let's see it. It's one of the, in one of the two, yeah. Can we show you what needed Hit to be repaired? Get me back when you get this need to collect rent. I need to collect rent. <laughs> I had to rent it upstairs, but I want to come in your apartment to get the ceiling repaired. Okay, it says that. nothing about the bathroom and the nasty black. Yeah, you said it ain't we were always available. Now, the That's main thing true. you mentioned was ceiling, and he was asking you if he could come in repaired. Right. What's up, man? I got four hundred today, right now, and I can do Thursday the twentieth for you to come fix the repairs. Wow. The and I'll have. Pardon me. The date that he didn't show up was Thursday the 20th. Whatever it was, you act like he didn't want to at all, remember? He That's how your whole testimony has he been. Said he he would, did not didn't. want to repair him. And here it is, he's saying to you, trying to get in, you telling him, assuring him that you're going to pay him. You didn't say, I'm withholding this money. You said, I will have $400 today. And I gave that. Right now. Right. But this is much different from saying, these repairs aren't made. What you telling me today? We didn't pay them, Your Honor, because the repairs, because the ceiling was dipped. I mean, and the it such was. And such with that. Let's take and a look at it. He yes. never repaired. Okay. And then he hands me the text where he tried to. And you give him some game. And you assure him, come get your money. I got it right now. I got your money. I got your right. money. You don't say I'm not giving you a dime until you make the repairs. You didn't say that. You're saying that now, but you didn't say that on June 15th. But he didn't meet up Thursday the 20th. Mm-hmm. He didn't, he I never didn't I come then. But you he would have, make attempts, but never actually yeah, come. You don't want to promise people you're going to pay them if you're withholding your rent for the purpose of getting the repairs done. Right. You wouldn't even give them a date. Anyhow, you have the details of the violation. They're on this other report. And did you get this from the city? I didn't get it until this last month. I talked to the building inspector. He, uh, he said they were calling. He says the only time I ever get calls is when people owe money on rent and they and they call me. He goes, Got that's it. what he said to me. And so that is the case in many instances. The only time. That is a way to get out of your rental debt is you say you got repairs and you go to the court. The court says, OK, sir, you got 30 days to make the repairs. And folks, you don't pay them until the 30 days. So they bought a month. Boom. Time that 30 days go by. They go back to court. Ah, oh, they still ain't quite right, judge. 
Um, okay, let me see the pictures. And then the tenant, the landlord says, let me see. And then they look at it. They say, yeah, it is right. It's corrected. Now you have seven days or the sheriff is coming over there to set your things out. I understand this is game now. I've seen this a thousand times. That's what the judges say. At least that's what I used to say when they would come before me and they pay every month. But when it's time to leave, ah! <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Well, why didn't you repair? Why didn't you repair, sir? Because they wouldn't let me in, yeah. Happens all the time, and I have the text where you all wouldn't. We let also have other texts where he was supposed to meet up with us and didn't. Right. So we have proof otherwise, and we also have a text saying he didn't hear anything. He said you never said anything to me about one problem till now. Yeah. Okay. We established it in the lease that there was a problem, mm -hmm. and here you are, August twenty third, saying you never said anything to me about problems till now. When was the last time you all had discussed it? Let's see here. Here in July, we're trying to meet by, and he's talking about collecting rent and Let not saying anything about regarding the repairs. Yeah. You mentioned the repairs. The, he mentioned the, are in the June, repairs mentioned August. in that text that you're referring to? Right. They they are. Yeah, at the okay. bottom here. Let we can't see. have this baby around all this mold. Okay, good. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, because look the judge at, had moved. This, yeah, can we show you how bad look the damage was? Please, living. let's see it, please. Please, because I mean, this it, has definitely been a problem. I'd wake up at six o'clock in. in the morning. It going wasn't to work. about us not being able to pay rent. It was disgusting. We were Your just Honor. choosing to not pay rent. It is about you not paying rent, ma'am. You say he said, it. "Come get the four hundred right now." Because that's the only that way is we about thought we'd be able to get him. That's enough. That's enough. You give me the impression you're the one on dope. I'll be very How honest. That? Yes, she does. Yeah. Like you all accused him of being on crystal meth. Yes, I'm though. accusing her of being on some drug. Right, she keeps pregnant. doing this. <laughs> she won't stop talking when I talk. She appears to be on drugs. <laughs> so that's why I told y'all, leave this drug stuff alone. Well, he's the drug addict. I know addict. it when I see it. Right, whatever. Right. <laughs> What's he over there saying now? <laughs> You all can't be trusted. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Nothing. Waste of my time. I shouldn't have helped you guys out. Would you pay to live in a place like that? Would that you was live disgusting. in somewhere like that? A person that's pregnant, you knew You're nasty, that I was pregnant. Dude. You live like that, don't you? Black you only came around when you wanted money, not to help us. Okay. Right. Yeah, Peace. exactly.